I'm shooting without Pro and I have Priority Enabled on. And what is that? That kind of like takes the jitter out of the camera on a low level shot, maybe during a daytime shot, like the morning hour. And I also have color enhancement on. What else can I do without Pro? Well, not much more. I can't do that much more for the reason of I can't adjust the sound. The sound is not separated from Pro. And I can't add 10-bit color because color enhancement is the only thing that's available right now. Another thing I could probably do is take the uh, field of view and change it off of D-Warp, which is similar to linear. Oh, my car is telling me it's uh, 30 uh, some odd degrees outside. It's cold. Well, that's DJI for you. Oh yeah, DJI. Just hope DJI could do a number of things for us again. Take care of that instant on. When the camera turns on and you're shooting video, no matter what mode you're on, I want it to go instant on. So if I have it on for 10, 15 seconds, the next time I shut off, I want it instant on. I don't want to wait a full minute of doing things. And that's what this talk was trying to do. I had it in the mode on. I talked for that one long scene. And I'm doing it again. And yet the camera's going to turn back on. Finally, I uh, had to uh, delete my last video and I uh, shut the camera off and it instantly went on. I don't know, GoPro. DJI is just not doing its job the right way it's supposed to do. People love DJI. People love GoPro. Maybe they make a do-go. Ho-ho, <laughs> GoPro. So we're heading to Home Depot. I'm talking a louder voice so this way you can hear me over the windshield and the noise that's there. See my finger? See that tall building right there and the one next to it? That's called the Coney and Coney 2. That's a casino and hotel being built on that very famous land that you go to the restaurant that given the property to them and they're officially selling those buildings for the casino and hotel. <laughs> home away from home for some people. Man, I just can't get out of Home Depot sometimes. They got the uh, plants. I'm not going to go get any today. It's too cold. They're probably going into shock. I have a barbecue I want to get. I'm not getting one of these. Dino Glow. Next grill. I want to look at a barbecue. Can't. Not here. I'm out of the store. I couldn't find a barbecue. <laughs> of course, they're all sealed up. But I looked at the gazebo. Oh, yeah. How do you like the gazebo? Looks like a 10 by 10, but it's marked 10 by 12 on the paperwork there. And that's the one I may be getting, but a different company's name. How sweet is that? And again, DJI, you're always on in my pocket. And I wait till you shut off. I don't know. Maybe my butt likes working your camera. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Did I just crack the joke? Watch out, Seagull. Woohoo! They don't care. You can run them over. And they haven't moved. Now, I had horizon balance on yesterday. And the problem with that was, I uh, mean, I was tilting in the car. Oh, how do you like that sunrise? Now, priority enabled again is on, pro is off. We have uh, color enhancement. And let me tell you, it doesn't do justice, does it? I can't tell you. I'm bouncing up and down, I'm riding, and I got the sun in my eyes.
These roads are just fun, man. People will speed to the very end and cut you right off. You gotta watch out for the people on the right hand side. You gotta watch out for the officer here. And the people just don't respect you and the speed that you're going. I had to return a Mortiz right hand lock. And the reason for that is the door I got's got an upside down lock. And that means you have to use a left-handed lock. And yes, indeed, you'll stay tuned for a how-to video to do that. And let me tell you, he'll be trying to put that lock in all different ways once you take it out and you forget which way it came out. Well, I said a lot, I did a lot. I still got a lot more to do. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm Fish, and I'll catch you on many other videos to come. I'll see you on many other videos if you're coming on back. Have a great day, and I got some reviews to get going. Enjoy, and I'll catch you on another time. Still staring at you. You finally turned on. It's like a double press camera today. You see those three black boxes? They were down below and they interfered with the side view mirror. So what I did was I taken the shelf and I rearranged it just a little bit. Now I'm gonna go see if I could get the car in. My battery box, I'm not sure if it's gonna stay there or not, but we'll see what the uh, car going in looks like. get the car as close as I can to the wall and I look at my center piece there. Sometimes I get closer than that. I can live with that. The shelf does got to come down just a little bit. That's as close as I get right there. I don't get any closer than that. This shelf here must drop down at least another couple inches and I can't do that because of this. But I can, you know, work on it. And I may have to drop it down. I don't think you're going to say, hey, you know, I made a mistake. Oh, look at that bad boy. All I got to do is just put in two uh, little screws. All those holes don't look good. But tell you what, at least it's up there holding nice and strong. I think I'm leveled. I think that's where it goes right there. I still got room. I dropped it down pretty far, at least three fingers length. So we're gonna go back the car in again. It works out but this piece right here this is going to get cut out for the reason of when I back my car up the mirror 
goes a little further, right about here. And that's the full back in case I need to put stuff in. So I'm going to get my jigsaw out and finish my project.